Depending at where you are in your life or your career, disposable income for things like great boots may be hard to come by. Now, that being said, I don't think that anybody should have to go without wearing a cool pair of boots if that's what they want to do. So in this video, I have six different tiers from under $100 to over $2,500 and five boots in each tier to hopefully give you a guide on what you should look at. Anyway, this is also not going to be a complete guide. I mean, in, in, can you imagine how long I'd be here talking about every boot at every price point? I'm going to give you five, maybe a bonus. That'll be it. So I'm going to rely on you in the comment section to maybe fill in some of the gaps. Are there some brands that I forgot here? And these are some models that I like personally. Your mileage may vary. Now, before we continue, I want to thank recent subscribers, Brian Stawowie, Peter Hahn, and Just Todd. Anyway, guys, thank you for your support. It means the world. Tier number one is somewhere around $100. You got 100 bucks, what can you get? Well, you gotta keep in mind that at this tier, you're probably not gonna get things like a Goodyear welt or stitch down construction or really great leather. You're gonna get what you get. And you know, it's a stepping stone to get something else maybe in the future. My first pick is actually from Timberland. This is the Men's Oak Rock LT Chucka Boot. Now these are on sale currently at $89.99. They originally go for $125, bucks, but they look like a really decent little chukka. They have a crepe sole or close enough to it. Looks like some decent leather. And chukkas are kind of universally accepted as being somewhere between dressy and casual. You could wear these things and they could be the only style of boot that you ever wear and you could be completely happy. Really cool looking in my opinion. Number two, I've actually done a video on these so I'll put a link right there for you, is the Jim Green Veily. Viley, Veely, I don't know. People keep saying that I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. The Veily, okay? Whatever. It's $89 and they're amazing. These things are awesome. I wore them basically all summer. Here is a case where you really do get a lot for the money. You still get double row stitch down construction and these are rebuildable. I mean, you could definitely have these remade and now they actually have them in a couple of different leather options. The ones that I have are the suede chestnut and uh, they're just phenomenal. I can't say enough about these boots and the value that you get out of them. Up next is the Stafford Men's Hacker Boot. Now, I originally had the Gunner Boot. Looks like those aren't available anymore, but for $69.99, these aren't a bad option. You know, if these are made like my Gunners, which it looks like they are, I still wear those. They're not bad. As a matter of fact, they were the subject of my highest viewed video of all time, how to make cheek boots look expensive. Now, those originally were like 50 bucks. That was a few years ago, so I can see how these will be a little bit more. It's also JCPenney. This is like a JCPenney brand, so look for sales, look for coupons and things like that. If you're looking for, you know, real budget boots that still look pretty decent, I gotta say, I really like mine. So, I again, I have the Gunner. This is the Hacker. Who knows if there's much of a difference there? It doesn't look like it. Either way, I think they're a decent buy for the price. You have to take care of your skin the same way you would take care of a $2,500 pair of boots. You want it to last a long time? You want it to look good? You want to be able to go out and use them without it breaking down? <laughs> well, then you got to take care of it. And Tiege Hanley is the best way to do that. And I'm excited to have Tiege Hanley as the sponsor of today's video. They really helped me start and maintain my skincare routine by making the entire process uncomplicated. And honestly, it's the best skincare system for guys like you and me. I recommend that you start with the level one system, which comes with all the basics, a daily face wash to get rid of the dirt and grime on your skin, a two time per week exfoliating scrub to get rid of dense skin cells. This is actually my favorite one. I love that scrub. It makes your skin feel almost like minty, you know? Oh my God. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 because you should always be protecting your skin from the sun and a PM moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. My favorite part about Teach Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. They really do make the process of achieving and maintaining amazing skin very easy. I've been using their products for a little while now and I love them. It may sound weird, but I actually do look forward to my morning and evening routines because I just feel amazing and more confident after using them. In addition to amazing skin, members of Teach Hanley get tons of benefits, including at least 20% off the retail price, the ability to customize your box, pause or cancel at any time, and free US shipping. And because Teach Hanley is sponsoring today's video, they're offering my viewers a great deal. Just click the link in the description and not only will you get Teach Hanley for the best possible price, but you'll also get a free gift with your first box. So go ahead and click that link and get started today. 
Up next is the Golden Fox 6-inch Boondocker Service Boot Pro. Now, these come in a bunch of different colors, and it looks like the price range varies a little bit from $104 to $139. I'm not sure if that depends on the price or the color that you choose. But still, it looks like there's maybe a PVC Goodyear welt here. I'm not really sure. It could be a fake Goodyear welt. But either way, if you're paying around $100 and you get a few years out of these, at least until you realize what you actually like and you can afford something more, I think it's not a bad little, little boot at all. Up next is the cheapest boot in the series here for $63.98. And now that's currently on sale. They originally are about hundred bucks. This is the Clark's Bush Acre 2. Now, I guess there's a couple of different versions of these boots. Everybody gives the desert boots all the love, but you very rarely hear about boots like these. But these look great. Again, a little chukka boot, which could very well serve you for many, many years. There's a lot of people who think that the, the Clark's Desert Boot is one of the best boots out there at any price. And in my opinion, this is almost like the Timex Weekender of boots. People just seem to like them. So, hey, you know, give them a shot. Tier number two. We're talking about the $200 range here, and your options really open up. When you're talking about around $100, you're very limited. When you start getting into the around $200 range, you can start to find some stuff that's really pretty decent, and a lot of people will be very happy with and never want anything more. So I think that's really cool. I also find myself wearing a lot of boots from this level just because I like them. And first up, I think, is a no-brainer for anybody. You've seen their ads because they're everywhere, is the Thursday Boots Captain. Now, these are $199, as they've been for a long time. The one thing with Thursday is you, I've seen some issues with QC, you know, missing eyelets, weird leather, um, strange matchings of, of components of the leather that don't quite meet. Anyway, you just have to be careful what you get. But that being said, what I've heard is that if you ever do have an issue, they're really good about returns. So if you get something and it looks a little bit wonky, you could return it and go ahead and get another crack at it. A lot of people love their Thursdays. There's a whole group of people who just own Thursdays and they proudly display their collection. I think the Thursday Captain at its price is a very decent buy. Next up is a brand instead of a particular model because I think the brand offers a lot of customizations and you can choose your own. The brand, I think it's pronounced Santa Loom and they're from Indonesia. They're two best friends who started the, uh, the company and they make some really, really impressive stuff. Now, the issue with stuff from Indonesia is that a lot of times their websites can be a little bit clunky, ordering can take a while, and shipping can take a while, but you can also get some smoking deals, and these are no exception. So you're going to see a couple other Indonesian brands here, but this is the first one, and I would definitely go and check them out. Making its second appearance on this list is Jim Green yet again with their... This is like their flagship model, the Razorback. I have two pairs of these because I like them so much. One of the darker brown and one of the lighter tan. They're awesome. They're really great. And actually, they've even upgraded them since I've gotten them. I guess there's a new footbed and, again, double row stitch down construction. A lot of stuff that you would find in $350 boots, but you're getting them for $139. Bucks. I mean, it's really, it's pretty impressive. I love this South African brand. I, I really couldn't be a bigger fan of Jim Green. Up next is John Doe Shoes. And I love how bland they are with their naming. I mean, John Doe Shoes sort of implies it right there. They're really more about the product than they are any flashy marketing or flashy names or anything like that. You want a decent shoe or a decent boot? Go ahead and get them. You just better not be one of those people who likes to pimp the brand name all the time, which I don't like anyway. For 165 bucks, this thing looks great. So anyway, John Doe Shoes is worth, it's worth looking at their entire website in my opinion. This is a brand that I find really flies under the radar. Up next is a great little number eight Chrome XL boot from the brand Chevalier. And I think I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. I'm really bad with pronunciation. Don't give me a hard time. Now there is a bit of a currency issue here. I, from what I see here, you really can't make it show you US dollars. But then again, go over to, to Google Translate or Google Currency or whatever, and you can get it in whatever currency that you want. But still, they come in at a really affordable price for what you get. Um, I haven't ordered from them, but I've seen a few reviews and people tend to like them. There's a couple other cool models on there as well, so it's worth looking around. 
Tier number three, which is around the $300 mark. And this is where you start to get into some really nice looking leathers, some unique styles, some brands that you've probably heard of before, and even a couple sleepers which are offering you more value than you would typically get at this price. So let's start off with one of those, Onderhood. Now, Onderhood's boots actually start at $240. This is another Indonesian brand. They finally have their own website, but they also just, I've seen some of their stuff on Instagram. I've seen some other people who have bought their stuff. And they look like five to six hundred dollar boots. They really do. Now, as I mentioned before, remember that you're probably going to have to, you know, be patient. You're going to have to deal with a little bit of oddities as far as ordering goes, and and just being patient in general. Understand that you are ordering from a small group of makers, and your patience is going to be appreciated. In the end, you're going to get a great pair of boots because I want some underhoods for myself. Next up is the brand Red Wing. Who hasn't heard of Red Wing? Now, this is actually, I own this boot. This is their 1907 six inch classic mock. And it's just about the most, in my opinion, the most iconic mock toe boot that there is. These come in at $309 and I have a lot of years on mine. They also have some, some time to go. But two things to note, the difference between the Red Wing Heritage line version of this mock toe boot and their regular work line is not only in the leather, but it's also in the sole. The sole on the Heritage line is a lot slimmer, a little bit more low profile, clearly meant for more style than work. So keep that in mind. The other thing is that within this particular model itself, if you go with the, I think it's the Copper Rough and Tough, you get a mock Norwegian style welt where you can see there's like a second layer of stitching that actually goes into the upper. On some of the other colors, you don't get it though. So if you go with one of the other colors, you're not gonna get that same thing. It, it's, it's an odd thing that I've seen, like the black version doesn't have it. So if you like that Norwegian style welt, then you have to go with one of the colors that actually includes that. Next up is the brand Mirman. And now I gotta tell you, right now I am looking at a Burgundy Heritage Shell Cordovan boot really gorgeous looking boot for 350 bucks i mean how do you do that a lot of their other ones on here are well under 300 dollars if you don't want shell cordovan personally i don't really like it i think it looks a little plasticky and it's just not my style but if you're looking to spend under 300 dollars, there are a lot of great looking boots on here for around 240 bucks Mirman is a great option for anybody who's looking to just class it up a little bit from that 200 dollars price point Next up is the brand that I've heard is the superior slip-on work boot option, and that is Redback. Now, for Redback, you can go ahead just slightly over $200 and get a lot of different things. Now, they do have a version, it looks like it has a metal tarsal toe called the Smelter, that's $350. This is really a work-specific model, I couldn't see anybody wearing these casually. But if you're gonna go with something like the Easy Escape model, totally could wear these casually, or the Sentinel HD, which is $219. There's a lot to like here, and from what I understand, this is a superior option to a lot of other pull-on brands. Next up is the brand Texture. Now, this is a brand that I've been looking at for a long time. There are a lot of really cool looking boots on here, some that are a little bit wild with lacing and straps, but this is another one of those brands where I think it's really worth just perusing their website and picking out one that you like. They also have this, this sort of signature detail that you'll find in some of their boots where there's a line of decorative stitching heading up at a slight angle. And it's a pretty cool look, depending on if that's your thing or not. They also have some nice lace to toe. They have some nice looking chukka boots. You could find some pretty cool stuff here. Again, it is not an American company or British company, so you're gonna have to deal with a little bit of wait time, I believe, and maybe, it looks like their website is pretty good, so I wouldn't worry too much there. This is a brand that I definitely wanna check out, and I can't wait till I get a hand on a pair of these. This next tier is around $400. This is where you're gonna to start to see some really cool looking stuff because this is where you're spending a little bit more money and you're getting some interesting styles. Now we're gonna start off with a brand called Sagra. Again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. They're actually available on a third party website. I found that's the best place to get them. Now, the one I'm looking at here, this particular model is called the Cordmaster and it is a two-toned monkey boot. Wow, oh my God, what you're looking at here, it's got a half sole on it. Um, you know, two different uh, colored leathers which come together in a really beautiful package, and they're 315 bucks. Maybe these belonged in the tier below this, but still, I think that you're getting a lot here for the money. They're, they're really, really beautiful. This is a brand that I am definitely going to try. 
Next up is the brand Junkard, or maybe it's Youngcard. I really don't know. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but I'm looking at the SC Plain Toe in Horween Chrome XL. Again, sort of a you know a safe bet as far as the the model is concerned, but you're looking at $390 for a beautiful looking boot looks like it's really made quite nicely and i've heard a lot of good things about this brand i've yet to try them out myself there's another model which looks like it's really cool too which is a little bit more expensive called the vestito and it's 430 dollars same thing chrome excel but um really it looks like you know quite a notch above some of the other ones i was mentioning below this tier Next up is the brand that basically everybody agrees is one of the highest values out there called Grant Stone. This is a place where you're gonna pay about $350, $360, and you're gonna get about $500 worth of boot. I'm not kidding. The brass boot is my particular favorite. I have this and wear it all the time. It's $360. I have their Crimson Chrome XL model. It's just beautiful. It's aging nicely. Has almost kind of a mock toe look to it. Just gorgeous. Grant Stone, I can't say enough about them. Number four is the Red Wing Iron Ranger. Now you can usually pick these up for about $325, maybe a little bit more depending on which model you're getting and where you're getting it from. These are the ubiquitous, chunky kind of style work boot. Originally they were designed as just work boots, but since then we've really changed a lot as far as what we accept for safety and the jobs that people are doing. But in my opinion, the Red Wing Iron Ranger is still the bar that is set for almost every other boot maker out there as far as combining a unique style with decent price and good build quality. If you get a pair of Iron Rangers, it may be the last pair of boots that you buy. Finally, we have Parkhurst. Now, this is an American company that I have really been dragging my feet on trying for no good reason. I really want to give them a shot. Around $350, you can buy some really great looking sleek boots. They don't have a lot of chunky options, but they're beautiful. And I've heard a lot of great things about them, especially from you guys in the comments. So go ahead and check them out. A lot of really nice things there. They do a lot in Kudu, which is a leather that I love. It's just beautiful, soft, but thick, natural, a lot of variation to it. Just gorgeous stuff. Go ahead and check out Parkhurst. Okay, the next tier is under $600. We jumped up a little bit because when you start to get to this point, you pay a lot more for little improvements. So you're gonna see things like exotic leathers here, really beautiful lasts. Um, as we go up in the tiers, things get a little bit more, in my opinion, a little bit more divisive. So people either love them or they don't. The first brand is Carmina. Now Carmina has a lot of shoes, but their bar moral boots are just gorgeous. When it comes to a dress boot, this is about, this is where I would go. These are $555, and if you are looking for basically a dress shoe, but in a boot style, I think it's gonna be really hard to do any better than this. Number two is Flame Panda, and this is another brand where you're really getting a $1,000 boot for somewhere around 500, 550 bucks. Beautiful craftsmanship, gorgeous stuff. Peng, who's one of the makers over there, really knows what he's doing. This is a an unsung hero, but they are becoming more popular. From what I understand, his wait list has really increased in the recent years when people have been dis discovering his brand. So if you're interested, go and check them out because I, I think that this is one of those things, it's a limited time offer kind of deal where it's not gonna be around forever. Up next is the White MP boot. It's a beautiful boot. These come in at $589, depending on which version you get. I personally have the MP Sherman in number eight Chrome XL. They're beautiful. Pacific Northwest boots, great. Just just beautiful, wonderful boots. And then there is their direct competition, also a Pacific Northwest boots, also made in Spokane, and that's Nick's boots. Now, their, their Urban Lager is still one of my favorite boots of all time. This is the boot that I will put on when I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into it during the day, but I know it can handle all of it. Some people don't like that chunky heel. I personally love it, but Nick's, one of the, the staples in my wardrobe. And finally, Wesco, another Pacific Northwest boot, but they are not in uh, Spokane. They're actually in, I think it's Scapoose. Either way, I think their Job Master is a phenomenal boot, and you really get a lot of boot for the money. These start, I think, at $429, but the custom Wesco Job Masters can go a lot more expensive than that, depending on how you customize them. Beautiful boots. In my opinion, the best finishing of the three up there. Uh, there are more, of course, but the three that I've tried, just incredible. Now, our final tier, these are $600 and up. We're gonna well double that number. This is where you're gonna get to some really exotic things, some really unique looking designs, 
some basically walking pieces of art, okay? And at the very, the most affordable of the group, and one of the, the brands that I think people tend to look past is Motor. These are made in Japan. The Japanese website can be kind of tricky to, to navigate, but you're really getting a lot of boot for the money. I can't stress that enough. My buddy Jake over there at Almost Vintage Style is a huge fan of Motor. He, he's recommended them to me several times. I have yet to get a pair, but I've heard they're incredible. Next up is Creosote, the one-man shop that I can't seem to get enough of. I actually have two pairs of his boots. I've interviewed him before. I'll link that right there if you want to go and check that out. And he, in my opinion, has some of the most unique-looking boots out there. Um, distinctly American, distinctly sort of like have has a macabre vibe to them. I just can't get enough. I love this stuff. In my opinion, these are some of the finest boots out there. Number three is the very popular Roll Club, my buddy Brian the Bootmaker over there, who makes some beautiful looking engineer boots. There's also a couple of lace up options. Brian's wait list though, from what I understand, is well over two years at this point. So you're gonna pay quite a bit, you know, well over a thousand dollars for these. And you're also gonna wait quite a while. That's to be expected with a lot of these one man shops. So Roll Club is great. A lot of people love theirs. Just keep in mind that you're gonna wait and you're gonna pay. Number four is White Cloud. Now, a lot of people think that these are the finest boots that money can buy right now. You're talking about Japanese craftsmanship, absolute perfect, like laser perfect stitching. One man shop as well, from what I understand, the boots kind of start around $2,000 and then they go up from there depending on what you get. But a lot of people see these as the absolute creme de la creme of boot making. Next up is John Lofgren. I actually have a pair of his engineers, which I absolutely love. From I, I believe that the Chrome Excel versions start somewhere around $1,000. If you get exotic leathers and things like that, they can climb from there. But really, just beautiful craftsmanship. Really not of the same level because they're not hand welted and done by one person, you know, of a roll club or a creosote or Brian the Bootmaker. But um, still, if you're looking for that same kind of look and definitely an upper tier boot, it's, it's worth checking out. Finally, as a bonus, because I never really mention them, don't give them much love at all, is Viberg. Now, there's plenty of people out there who love their Vibergs. Canadian brand, really gorgeous looking boots. They have some unique ones on there as well, which almost look like hiking boots. And there's there's some other really cool stuff that I think flies into the radar. Viberg is a brand that I have yet to try. I think they are a little bit expensive for what you get. That's my mileage. Yours may be completely different. So maybe you're a big Viberg fan and maybe I'm missing out but still worth checking out, usually around the seven to $800 mark. Now, please don't get discouraged by the price of some of these boots. I know I listed some that are, well, just like almost crazy amounts, right? Honestly, I get as much joy wearing my $89 Jim Green Veilies as I do my $1,500 Creosote boots. It's not what you're wearing on your feet, but what you're doing while wearing them. I can't stress that enough. There's so many people who just focus on the actual implement, the, the, the boots themselves, and they forget to actually live a life that's worth living. In my opinion, the best money is spent on a boot that you can well afford, and then go ahead and spend some money on a really cool experience, spending time with family and friends. That's where it's really important. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time.